Hi viewers, in today's video you're going to look into AI News 2027. Sam Altman unveils key milestones and Google's latest model. The video discusses the rapidly expanding field of AI, particularly in the model release area. Metabot, a GitHub native state-of-the-art coding agent, scored 38% on the software engineering benchlight, beating Devon Alibaba Factory and IBM Research. Metabot uses a new cognitive architecture that solves issues in its structured workflow, gathering context, planning and editing, destructing the plan into individual edits, applying those edits, testing and reviewing, and then submitting the plan. The rate of improvement in AI development is expected to be incredible over the next few years, with software development occurring every two weeks. Google's open source model Gemma 2 has outsized performance, unmatched efficiency, cost savings, and is blazingly fast across any tool it is used with. It is quick, easy to use, and has broad framework compatibility. As we move towards models like Gemma 3 and Gemma 4, there will be remarkable improvements in terms of what they can do. Google has also managed to get Gemini 1.5 Pro to a 2 million context length window and code execution capabilities. GMA 2 is available today, and the context window on Gemini 1.5 Pro is now open for all developers. As the context windows grow, so does the potential for input costs to help developers reduce costs. AI development is rapidly expanding, and the future looks promising with the advancements made in AI models. It is essential to stay updated on the latest advancements and predictions from top AI labs as the field continues to evolve. OpenAI GPT-40 is a model that can handle a 45-minute video, around 1 million tokens. Google has not yet shipped this model, but it seems to be moving towards increasing context length across all major models. Google made a breakthrough in reaching 2 million context length before others, suggesting they are starting to ship more AI products and could potentially take the lead in the next year and a half as long as they prioritize their AI products. Reddit user Rosie the Creator has seen a sneak peek of ChatGPT's upgraded voice feature, which generates background effects while narrating. OpenAI will need to scale infrastructure to roll out this model. Anthropic CEO Dario Amade has announced that AI models will cost up to $100 billion to train and will be better than most humans in most tasks. The next training runs will cost $1 billion, requiring significant investment from others. This $100 billion is likely going towards NVIDIA's bottom line, as many believe the company won't be around for long. The next training run after the 10 billion training runs will be 100 billion, as AI models are getting better and better over time. If funding for the models continues to increase, the cost of a model would be around $100 million. If algorithmic and chip improvements continue at a pace, it is likely that by that time, AI models will be better than even the best humans. Leopold Aschenbrenner emphasized the importance of considering all factors contributing to the improvement of AI models, not just the model's design, which could lead to a significant increase in the number of available AI models in the market. The rapid advancement of AI models is expected to have significant implications for our understanding of the universe and our ability to make breakthroughs. This is due to the algorithm improvements, inference improvements, chip improvements, and agenic workloads that can be achieved through SL frameworks. It is expected that these models will be truly capable in 2027 after the $100 billion training runs. AI models are expected to receive funding of around $10 billion or more, potentially accelerating discoveries in biology and curing diseases. These models, similar to Google's models, could focus on breakthroughs in science, such as drug discovery and gene editing. If they are as robust as Nobel Prize-winning scientists or head of drug discovery at major pharmaceutical companies, these discoveries could proliferate and address or cure long-standing diseases. While this is a futuristic and challenging task, understanding the fundamental nature of AI models could lead to significant advancements in the future. AlphaFold's ability to accelerate protein discovery by a million years is an example of this. As AI models continue to evolve, it will be fascinating to see how they continue to advance. Sam Elman, in a recent live interview, spoke about this phenomenon, although he received some flack for his statement. He argued that there is a lot about the universe that we simply don't understand, and that focusing on making breakthroughs and focusing on what we don't understand is crucial. 
there will be paradigm shifts in the future when we start to discover certain things and what they do. This is because our understanding of the world is constantly changing, and our understanding is constantly changed by one brilliant mind or a few brilliant minds over the course of decades. For example, we once thought the Earth was flat but didn't know about microorganisms living on our skin and inside our bodies. Once we manage to discover these things, it is likely that an AI system will continually make game-changing discoveries. This is difficult to achieve due to AI being a software system, and a simulation that can one-to-one -one map stuff might be necessary in the future. Despite the challenges, the fundamental point that we will be using AI systems to research and make breakthroughs is going to be something that, while initially seeming crazy, is necessary for our understanding of the universe and our ability to make breakthroughs. Chinese robot toy maker Liu Robotics has launched a full-size humanoid robot, KFU, integrated with Huawei's multimodal LLM Pangu to understand natural commands, plane tasks, and execute with manual coordinate coordination. The Humanoid Hub is an effective resource for humanoid robot news, and China's success in producing factories and building things is remarkable. This initiative will likely lead to China expanding its horizon and fleet first, followed by the US. OpenAI is developing the GPT-40 voice model to assist human trainers in identifying mistakes during reinforcement learning using human feedback. The Critic GPT model, a base model of GPT-4, is trained to catch errors in GPT's code output. When aided by Critic GPT, individuals outperform those without assistance 60% of the time. The company is integrating Critic GPT models into their RLHF labeling pipeline using recursive self-improvement with AI with humans in the loop. As AI models become more accurate, subtle mistakes become harder to identify, making it harder for trainers to identify them. This limitation of RHF makes it increasingly difficult to align models with humans as they become more knowledgeable. This brings up the bigger question of when we will reach recursive self-improvement with RHF. While it's not stating that this is how recursive self-improvement works, it is likely that we will eventually use AI models to evaluate AI models. This is something that is currently being used and is currently very effective. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a comment in the comment section below.